Hi guys, welcome back to Izzy Lights House. I've got a new sitting here on now and then. Izzy Lights House sold, and today we're doing the taste test of noodles. Noodles from where? Well, where did we go? Majority are Korean. Oh yeah, except majority are Korean noodles, except for this one. Dame ramen. Does it taste what's wrong? It's spicy. What? It's spicy. Oh, it did smell a bit weird when we, when we was cooking it. This is a broth, so it's 500 mils of water, cook it, and then you add the... the oh, it seasoning. Yeah. Uh, before we get started, like, share, subscribe, and keep up with, uh, with the video that's sound. Join in the Discord. Right. Nice. First impressions. Water. <laughs> Very watery. Yeah. If I'd have done them my way, the broth would be a bit thicker, the noodles would be coated. Let's get into it. Benyach, as you used to say. It smells... It still smells a bit funky. Yeah, it smells funky. It smells mm. funky. There is a slight spice in the smell, because my nostril just tingled. Oh, great. I bet it'll be that hot, though. Really? Ooh. Mmm. Not way near as bad as it smells. <laughs> it actually tastes alright. But what's what's the taste? There's a slight tingle on the tongue. There's, um, there's a very slight chicken taste. Is that? Very slight. It's not like it's not like um fried noodles. I think it's just a um, generic spicy flavour. It is nice though. I'm gonna finish it. Mm. Did you break the noodles off? Yeah. Why? Because that's just how I like noodles. I like to just you get don't a break. Fork. No, you're not. I like to twist them. You end up breaking the next ones off, I'm telling you. I, I, like I won't break up the, um, the later ones. So for the noodles itself, the noodles you're more, you're more of a noodle here to me. I just I don't eat really carbs and I'm yeah. So tell me, noodles itself. They're not soggy. There's a slight firmness to them. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, they retain the flavour of the broth better than I thought they would because just on appearance it looks like you just dunked noodles in oily water. Yeah. Even your elbows. <laughs> Taste-wise, you can actually kind of taste the noodle itself. That's probably because broth. Flavour-wise, I don't know what it is, but there's a little bit of a kick. Is that the chilli oil? Mm-hmm. The noodles go down really easy. Yeah. You don't have to chew them for 20 minutes before. I would like to roll them on, you know, roll them with a fork. And all the noodles you like so far? Oh, it's pretty low ranking. <coughs> like, compared to some of the stuff even me and you have like, tried together. Hmm. We did do a previous noodle video, but it was... It was the audio was mashed. Like, we had a like a camping stove and all you, all you could hear was that. You couldn't hear us talk. So we had to bring in. It does taste similar to one of the cheap Korean noodles you bought me ages ago before we even started doing YouTube. But oh, that cheap one. Out of 10. For flavour. The flavour? I don't know. Because. There's not much flavour to it. But it's not bad. Are we talking. I mean, we're talking chicken flavour or beef flavour. Yeah, I'll be talking like out of all the noodles I've tried. 
Or well, we'll start. We'll start judging them when we get the next one. Or we on about overall, overall, in terms of food. In terms of food. I'd say it's about a six. So I've got some flavour, but I don't know what the flavour is. Um, I'm going to slurp from salsa on it, guys. Spice-wise. Give the broth a go. spice what? yes. The broth's actually quite nice. Mmm. Spice-wise, two, three. In terms of that ash cheap noodles, that's a good spice. It's actually. It's, I've got a... Burn to the back of the fowl, to the back of the tongue, then rip the mouth. No, it's not. Side, it? But it's not. But not but it's, nice. it's pleasant, it's palatable. Yeah, it's not a nice, a nice burn, isn't so, it? So, on a number scale, compared to other spicy stuff I've done, it's like a, it's like a point five. <laughs> but in terms of just general food and preference, that's a nice, comfortable spice. I'd say it's about like an eight. Oh. Comfortable spice to me, three. No, I'm all about just like preference of spice. Oh, if it was just if if you if you if you judging it from heat, as in hot or then it's. That's why I said this is like a, out of overall heat. This is like a point five. I'd say two. There's so many things to like judge on. Because we have like eight of the things we've eaten and just overall. Mm. I've got an interesting video coming up just to let you know. We've actually found some hot sauce from the UK! Yeah! Oh, it's on order. And the name's Pips Hot Sauces or Pips Sauces, I think it is. I don't know. So that's an upcoming video. Just go wait for it to be delivered. Because I think in the UK we're disadvantaged about what. Oh yeah, we are very disadvantaged on on what uh, hot sauces we can have, and if we've got to buy them, we've got to buy them from overseas. Spices UK thing I think we've actually tried is Mr Singh's crisps. <laughs> Don't knock it. Oh, I am not. You want to try some? If you can order some, try them. They they for vegan crisps. They were absolutely lovely. I'd highly recommend them. Good bug then. Not bad. Oh, yeah, I, think a, I think there's a, I think there is a slight chicken flavour. Yeah. Almost like, you know, cook the noodles in the broth but didn't use the broth as the broth. <laughs> cook the noodles in chicken broth. We didn't use the broth. But then use the chicken broth and use like a spicy yeah. chili based one. What I don't get with a lot of these ramen like noodles we eat is why do they always have an oil that just sits on the top? I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't answer that question, Mark. And then we wait 10 million years for Mark to drink his broth. To be fair though, you'd know better than me because of all the Korean like videos you watch. Well, I don't... They don't show you making them. Okay. Or I'll watch. I'll probably have to look into it. I would not go to Korea. South Korea. Same. On a holiday. And, holiday. and Japan. Just to try the food. Oh yeah. I'd like to give them a card. Like, I don't like vegetables, but I'd still try Japanese or like traditional cooking. Yeah. I'd give them a card for a week just to splurge. Especially the Korean cakes. Would you yeah. try the books from the food trucks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've got to give it a go. And I try, is it durian? Durian. Durian, yeah. I'd actually try that. Actually fresh. Apparently fresh durian is actually quite nice. The only reason it smells like fart is because it's like <laughs> been frozen or they've tried to be sort of weird with yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Overall out of 10? Um, I can't judge that, yeah until I start eating the other ones. Yeah, but give a baseline score. Six. Hmm, yeah. It's not, it, well, it wasn't blowing my socks up or going, wow, that was nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's like... I'll buy it again, 
But if I find a noodle that was more appealing or more flavourful, I'd eat that. For me, it's basically like just got home from school, too hungry to wait for the tea, but too lazy to cook. So I just whack one of these bad boys in the pan and yeah. boom, after right. school snack. Okay, we'll be back with you with the second one. Yeah. Right, taste test number two. Now this is what I call a bit more like a noodle, Mark. Oh yeah, that, this that's, is... that's much thicker. Mark, read it, cut me a glass, take my glasses off. This is Nong Shim Noodle Chang, uh, Cham Pong. It looks like it's squid. Yeah, it's got a little squid on the front, I don't know if you won't be able to see it, but you'll see in the beginning, in the thumbnail. Yeah, and the noodles are thicker. Oh, they're much thicker. And larger. Smell-wise, it smells like seafood. There's yeah. more, there's a smell to this, a nice smell to this. No, it actually smells like that. Because yeah. when it was cooking, it smelled like scampi fries, but now it smells like, um, you know, like battered, breaded slash battered pieces of crab we used to get at yeah. uh, Cosmos. Mm -hmm. Smells like them. Say, twirl it round. Oh my god, these, these, these are long noodles. Add a bit of that sharp Did mouth. Really? Yep. Yeah. Mm. The hot. Oh. Ow. The taste isn't as strong as the first one. Yeah, but I can. I, 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 I taste it the, the when you seafood. First, when you first put it in your mouth, taste you get an instant blast of flavour, and then. You know, chew, you chew and it just goes very quick. I don't think so. I think so. There's a lot of slight spice to it. Yeah, very, very slight. Not as... Uh, oh, can you taste the sweetness? No. I okay. can. An after sweetness taste. You can taste the noodle even more than the first one. Why am I getting a, why am I getting a basset fish taste? Kinda, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't taste like squid to me. It just tastes like basset fish. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a battered fish and you've like sp accidentally splashed some Tabasco near <laughs> it. <laughs> there is chunks of carrot. And some seaweed, seaweed which you haven't got a lot because I've mixed it all. Um, and I think there's some. Um, yeah, there is some dry... squid pieces. Squid pieces, I thought there was. Yeah, because if you look at it from a certain angle, you can see the squid. <clears throat> I'm going to be daring. Why not? I've got a piece of squid with mine. Oh, God, Mark, what's with you? I've had squid before, other than it being like chewing on a skull rubber, it's <laughs> not too bad. I tell you, it's cooked. If it's cooked bad, then it's going to be not that. Mm. It definitely tastes like battered fish. It's not for me, this one. No! I like it, but it's very underwhelming for me. It's so like if somebody was like, oh, do you want some noodles and made this for me, I'd still eat it. Or if I was desperate for food and this was the only noodle left. <laughs> mm. No, I'll tell you what, that tastes like fish fingers. Yeah, but without the bread in. Because you get uh, the noodle instead. It still tastes like fish fingers. You know what? I'm going to try some of the broth. <laughs> yeah. Not for me. Yeah, but you can finish that off. <laughs> I like it. I got a very weird hit of something when I slurped it. 
I'm getting a gulp of it. Like, s s give a slur. Or, it's, I think it's spicy in the first one. When you start drinking the broth. Mm. The more you have of it, the spicier it yeah. is. Unlike, unlike the first one. It's not for me, that one. <laughs> Ooh. It is a little bit spicy. I'd say on my heat level, that's that was a two. That's a three. Point five one. Noodles? The noodles themselves are really nice. Flavour? They're a bit they're a bit too chewy for me though. I think they're a bit chewy. Compared to the noodles I normally have. Yeah, because he bottles them to death. Not really. There you go. Yeah, I'm cooks noodles. I and then start and then start to put in all these fandangled sauces into them. They had flavour. I mean, come on, Brit British noodles are naff compared to like Korean and Japanese instant noodles. Well, that's true. You for with British noodles, you need that extra flavour. I like them. Fair enough. I like better than the first one. Oh, I prefer the first one slightly though. No. Overall, it's because I mean, oh, you're not a really a fish fan. No. Where, where? Overall, I'd say it's like a three, fish. four. It's edible, but it's not something I'd personally choose. Uh, how much did I write that one? I, I rated. I rated this one a six. I think you rated it yeah. four. Yeah. You rated it a four. Something like that. Well, that's four. That's five. I like it. It's alright. Yeah, any fish lover. Anyway, let's get back to the next one. Taste test number three. These are Mark. Show them. I'm looking forward to this one because I love kimchi. Same company again, non Shin. Uh, this is Shin Kimchi. Um, and my, my mum's obsessed with kimchi. The noodles are a little bit smaller than the last ones. Mm -hmm. Smells like noodles. <laughs> like the first one, but not as strong. Mm. The, the noodles are a bit long, Mark. That's why I always break them. No, you don't break noodles, you slurp. I do, because I'm weird, I know. See, all you <coughs> turn them around like that. Ta da! Oh. Ready? Don't forget that I've got a small cob. Yes, yeah, actually, it's tongue tied. Ready? Mm hmm. Yup. Hmm. That's actually not bad. It's got a similar flavour to Shin Red, just not as good. It hasn't got. A huge kimchi taste. Mm, I wouldn't know. You wouldn't know because you never tried kimchi. I love kimchi. Well, I've tried it. I just didn't like it. From a carnivore diet, I do eat a lot of kimchi and sauerkraut, fermented vegetables. Which seems a bit weird for a carnivore diet. Fermented vegetables are good for you. I know, but it's not carnivore. I know it's not, but now and again, <laughs> I don't need them every day, do I? Oh, Once oh, no. in a while. It's not messy, weird. Flavour was, I'm disappointed. Only enough, I'll get a hint of that one in there. I didn't wash the dishes out. Got some dribble. I'm slightly disappointed. Same. It's not the overwhelming kimchi flavour. It's just an average noodle. Weird salt. It's lacking flavour, mm. do you think? Even a slight pinch of salt in there would make it ten times better. They're all right. Yeah, they're still nice. I'm still going to eat it. But, for me, this is the last place. Yeah, I wouldn't say last. I would. 
For me, the squid ones are less so far. No. Yeah, but I've had kimchi, I know kimchi is dark, and I was at, I had high expectations. And it hasn't delivered for me. Well, I know for a fact it wouldn't exactly taste like kimchi anyway. I think all it really means is it's got cabbage in it. <laughs> Probably. I'm going to try the broth. The broth's kind of underwhelming. I'd eat it. Don't get me wrong, it's nice. But it hasn't got that well factor that mm. I was after. I've had just cheap ass cup noodles better than this. Mm. This is last for me, I don't think I'm going to eat anymore. Can you scream it? We well, apologise. Try the kimchi. Underwhelming. So, this is a three for me. This is. No spicy. Does that slide tingle? Right. Like it's, it, it's, it's, it, it doesn't even register yeah. on the spice scale. So, so far for me, the chan. I know yours are different. Mine's a champong. Next is for me is the the Japanese noodles. The damai. Damai. And kimchi was last. Only because I expected more. I expected and it, it, less. It, it delivered less for me. I expected much less. Your top ones so far? The dirty ass cheap ones. Go off, Mark. Mum, my diet consists of dirty ass cheap. I am getting quite full. I've only had three noodles. We're going to share them. And I didn't even finish the second one. No? I like it. I like champong. Okay, the, bro the broth is actually a bit better than I thought. Would you eat it again if it was given to you? Mm -hmm. I would. But well, there is situations where I would willingly choose it as well. No. Like if I'm fancying some Korean noodles and they're the only ones there, I'd still pick them up. Oh yeah. But if these were the only ones there, I'd go, nah, I'll wait, I'll get up another shot. Well, you, you just contradicted yourself because earlier you said you did, didn't you? Oh no, you didn't actually, it was that one. No, th this one, I said, yeah, I'd, I'd just, yeah. I'd buy them again. Was it this one that said it's it like the uh, after school uh, snack one? Yeah. yeah. The mm. dummy. Mm. Noodles do make a good apple sauce, though. It's about like 10 million years for to finish. So when I was in school, I was always having like a pack of soup noodles after school. Oh yeah. But see, when what makes soup noodles, you so just doesn't do a basic soup noodle. What goes? It actually goes into your soup noodle. One. Base wise, uh, a bit of salt and pepper, some paprika, and that's just like the, the base of what I throw in it. Anything else is just, oh, I fancy a bit of a hint of that today. Yeah. Well, you just can't eat the noodle for the noodle. You have to have all the stuff that goes with it. Yeah. Because, like I said, British noodles, isn't that? <laughs> so you, you, you go Asian noodle and you just can't go back. No, there's a, there's a difference. A huge difference. It's like you can actually taste what it says on the packet most of the time. Except for these ones. Whereas like, like super noodles chicken. That does not taste like chicken. <laughs> okay, that broth was actually really nice. You enjoyed that? Mm-hmm. Nice. We're back with taste test number four. Did we give a conclusion? on that one. Oh. Like proper. No, I didn't even rate it. 
I'm ready to do this, mate. I'll be ready for the spice. No, I mean, number-wise. Number-wise? That's, that's last. No, like, out of ten. Oh, I'll do it. Number one. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Number three. Yeah. Number four. Yeah. Number five. Yeah. Number six. Yeah. Number seven. Yeah. Number eight. This, the kimchi actually had better flavours overall than this one. But for some reason I just like that one more. See you I think it's one. my like close relationship with the ash cheek food. See you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> right, test test number four. This is what Mark's been looking forward to. Mark, show the packet. Shin red. By Nong Shim again. Yep. Right, the salt took a bit more of the broth than normal. Yeah, you can mostly just smell noodle. Same as the first one. The smell. But it should taste a lot better. Well, we'll see. The noodles are thin. Not as thin as the first one, though. No, they've got a bit more of a, a what do you call it, a texture to them. A bit more girth. Come on! I'm trying to get them on the fork. My hands are clean, I can't wash them. Because I'm saying that's your food. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, this is my food actually, yeah. Come I am, on. I'm trying. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Go. Hmm. Instantly better. Nice little spice to it. <laughs> you okay there, Mum? Mm -hmm. The spice is only going to ramp up from here. Ooh. Definitely wish there was more broth. Oh. But these ones just soak it up. Yeah, they do. No, I like these ones. Yeah, I'm not complaining too much though because these are very good noodles. Again, they've got nice distinct flavour. It's basically just spicy. Yeah, it's just a spicy taste. It's not that spicy though, it's probably about two, three for me. At most. This is the spiciest one out of all of them, so far. So far, yeah. So, on a, on a eight scale from the four that we've had so far, well, it's the hottest one, but it's still not that hot. I'm one to ten. Out, out of these. Right, at least four. Technically, it would be a ten, then, wouldn't it? Because it's the spiciest one of the lot. Mm -hmm. So we can't exactly put a number to it until we've done all of them. Give it up. No. Oh, just get rid of some sauce. Mm -hmm. This is going to play habit with me tomorrow. I'm probably going to play habit with me tomorrow. Oh, no, you eat carbs or don't? Yeah, no, it doesn't mean my body likes it. <laughs> my body will definitely not like it. Just like how I can eat like, what, a fat, dirty pizza and my body will like it. I will. You know why? Because it puts a ton load of cheese. No, I mean, like, just take away. If you could buy, if you could put it, yeah. It boils the pizza and then puts extra cheese on it. No, that's from my, like, that's from the crappy frozen ones because they never have enough cheese on it. <clears throat> it's a cheeseaholic. When I have takeaway pizza, I don't put extra cheese on it. What other pizza places could do with putting a stronger cheese on? What? They have that like plastic mozzarella. <laughs> There you go, you can find a bit of sauce. That's much better. Oh, actually, right, you eat that one, alright? Alright. If you must pull up this day to me, I'll come home from work. Job is on again as usual. For me. I should make some jammies for merchandise. You should, yeah. Bosch. <laughs> I need a saying, Bosch. 
and ding. And ding. So, that's still going to be number one for me. Name them. I don't know. I can't see from there. The flavour wise, so it's going to be. Champong is still my favourite. Shimre the second. Uh, Damai, yeah. Ramen third, and Kimchi fourth. I mean, it's Shin Red, Dame, Kimchi, and uh, oh, that crappy squid one. Heat-wise, Shin Red. Mm -hmm. Then it was Kimchi. No, Champong. Champong wasn't that spicy. The first one, actually, did the first one have a little bit of spicy, didn't it? Yeah. It would have been. Oh, wait, no, yeah, the yeah, squid one was one, yeah. So it was Shin Red, Champong. Gamay, Raman and Kim Chet, no spice whatsoever. Yeah. Another that very subtle. But this shim red, the flavour is lasting longer on my tongue. Oh yeah, it lingers. It lingers. Well, well tongue's sure. on fire, not hot, not hot, hot though. It's a, it's a tingle. Let's wait for the next two then. Oh god. We've got another two, yeah. Enjoying that? Mm hmm. He looks them. Oh, yeah, I love these ones. We need to go to um, Korea Town in Birmingham again. Get some more of these noodles. It wasn't Korea Town, it was Chinatown. Sorry, Chinatown. Because we got the um, carbonara noodles, didn't we? Mm hmm. And the cheese ones. Mm hmm. We're going to have to fast forward some of this, you know. Nah. <coughs> Just give them a mukbang, innit? <laughs> mukbang. Yeah, but for a mukbang, people like to see the food close up. And like to hear the... Well, we've kind of been doing Slurpage. That. We're, we're more civilised than that. We're not civilised. <laughs> we, we don't get a... Look at yourself. <coughs> oh, I'm starting to get hot. By the way, in the UK, we've had a month nearly of rain. And now, it's starting to, get, it's starting to warm up. Yeah, I missed the rain already. What? You missed the rain? Because at least when it rains, it's nice and cold at night. This is true. I've been waking up, like, covered in sweat. Are you, you going to get it on? Why are we waiting? Shut up. I'm a slow eater. I'm tired. I've been teaching all day. You know I'm a slow eater. This is going to be a long video. So was the French MRE. This is true. And a few others. I have been looking at a Russian MRA because somebody keeps asking for a Russian one. I want to try them. I know, but it's £37. You normally get a lot, you know? I know you do. But it's £37. To be fair, with how much there's normally in there, um, it'll probably be a much longer video. Plus, there's a £10 delivery charge. £47 for a anyway, Russian one. Anyway, wrong topic. Anyway, wrong topic. <laughs> anyway, we divert it there. Back with taste test. Oh, overall flavour wise, 10 out of 10 for me. The flavour still lingers. Mm -hmm. Even when you like have a drink. Probably still putting it in number 10. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Are you ready then? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> taste test number 5. Mark, what have we got this time? Sam Yang this time. Uh, their hot chicken flavour. First impressions, they are very dark. Secondly, they are not a slurpy noodle. They're a dry noodle. Yes, yeah, so you have to cook them in the, in, in water. And stir fry them. them for 30 seconds. And then put, what do we call it on YouTube? Blood, what is it? Uh, witch's blood. Yeah, they call it witch's blood. It, well, it looks more like bloody black tar. Smell wise, is it barbecue sauce? It's supposed to be chicken. It has a weird smell. It does. I, I, I believe these are going to be hot. It looks like we just drained them in chocolate syrup. 
Or Marmite. <laughs> Are you ready for these? These ones are going to be spicier. Quite, quite a bit spicier than ready? the shin. Doink. You can't really doink. No, I'm not ready. Down the arch. Mmm. That is a thick sauce. Oh. I'm not getting the spice, oddly enough. That is where I'm only getting it on the tip of my tongue. The very, very tip right here. I'm getting it on the roof of my mouth. Hold it down. Now it starts to creep, that's weird. It's gone to the back of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Into my throat. These are very thick. I mean, could have done with a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Not a broth though. That's why I said put the water in after the sauce. Mix the sauce in and, and add the water. Mm. That's what we did last time. Yeah, the throat's hot. I'm getting pretty much nothing from the spice. I am getting it on my tongue. It seems to evaporate, the, the spice seems to evaporate quite quickly. Even then, I've, I'm, I've got nothing. That's weird, because the first time I ever tried these, it was quite hot for me. It was actually. But, I'm getting nothing, what the hell? Is it because of all the challenges I've done? No, I know. See, when I swallow it, that's when the spice hits me. Right at the back of the throat. No. But, the shimmer and spice, yeah. Oddly enough, yeah. But last time I tried these, it was the other way around. I'm very confused. Not a fan of the like very thick sauce. Oh. It gives it a weird mouth feel. When we do the last one, we'll have to be a little bit more water. It looks like a bunch of worms in mud. No. For me, flavour wise, it didn't taste like chicken. No. They are nice. Nice. Oh! It's a black bean sauce. That's why it's thick. But it says hot chicken flavour. I'm probably meant to actually have it with chicken. No, flavour. I know, but. Where does this sit on my scale? Three. It's a three for me as well. It's like third for me as well. Third for me. Heat wise, Shin Red did it for me. Yeah. Even though they ain't supposed to be as spicy. It's, it's hitting my tongue now. It's creeping to the front. It's on my lips. That's weird. <clears throat> it's a creeper. Do you think it's a creeper? Not much. Even 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 then, I'm still not like suffering in any kind of way. I'm not suffering, but I can. It's on my tongue. Not like What's last time. I had them. Last time I had them, I thought they was really spicy, but no. Actually, it might it might take over for spiciness, but for flavour. Flavour wise, it's third. It's third. Overall experience wise. It's last, I hate that mouth filled with the extra thick sauce. So I'm taking it, you're not eating no more? No. Do you more? No, I'm fine, thank you. They're nice, but if mm. it wasn't so thick... It looks like slurpy noodles, are you? Oh, I love a good noodle soup. No, I like the dry one, but that was too dry for me. Yeah, I definitely think we added the water too late, uh, early. Or cooked them a little bit longer than they should at the end. No, no, no. Oh, that too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, heat wise, my mouth's still burning a bit. My lips are burning now. It's but like it's coming from the back and travelling to the front. Mm. So now my throat isn't on fire now. But your lips are. Not the back of my tongue is on fire, but the front of my tongue, the tip of my tongue, <clears> and my lips are on fire. 
Anyway, ratings out of 10 for everything. Uh, Overall, I'd still give it a 6 because it's, it is still nice. It's just the Mayfield that's trash. Um, 6 by all the region. I mean, overall rate, like, as in X10. Yeah, 65432. Oh, okay. <laughs> None of them has like, hit me like, wow, that was good. Uh, Shin Red's still a 10 out of 10. Now, Champong Shin Red, hot chicken flavour, dairy ramen, and kimchi nuts. Fair enough. Ready? What would you say the spices on out of 10? I'm torn between the hot chicken flavour and the shin red because it's on my mouth still burning. Shin red was spicy for me and I don't get it. I literally felt pretty much nothing from there. But I did. Did I have more spice than you? I think I had the exact same amount. You did? That's just because you ate all yours. Yeah, and you had a little bit. It might take hold with the no, chicken even, slightly. Even from the start, you said it was spicy. Yeah. Whereas I've just experienced nothing. Wow. Yeah. At most, it just reinforced what little spice was left from the shin. Okay. I'm very confused. Yeah. Last taste test coming up. Final noodle test. Mark? So what we got? Another Samyang Baldak. This is we think well, this is gonna be the spiciest one, isn't it? Probably. This is spicy chicken flavour again. This is the uh the one under the nuclear noodles we did. Our first ever challenge. So Which we might revisit. Yeah. Because I never did it. You did, but I didn't do it. Uh the red. Oh, yeah. Same noodles as the Baldak. Same noodles as the green one, the hot chicken. Sorry, same noodles as the green one, yeah. Eh, look at the... <laughs> Get on the fork. Twisty, twisty. Twisty, twisty. Well done, well. I'll just get a mouth on and bite the rest off. No, you've got, you've got to have a... Are you ready? Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been waiting. Three, two, one, doink. Oh, this tastes much better than the um, green ones. Not getting as much of the spice as I thought I would. The green ones are spicier. No, the black ones definitely spicy because. Am I? I I got zero spice off the first bite of that one. I've got a, I've got a bit of spice from that one. I've got a little bit of throat burn at the back. But it's like a tingle. Flavour wise though, it's got packs of punch. Do you agree? Oh god yeah. Packs of punch with the flavour. Flavour wise for me it's on par with, with the shin red. In terms of how much I like the flavour. They could dry very quickly though. You've got to eat them straight away. You can't leave them to dilly dally around can you? Oh god no. Because it goes really thick. Well, I guess that's stir fry noodles for you. Oh, oh hello, come and say hello. Hey, Stormy. Yeah, come and say hello, didn't I? It's slowly building. <coughs> yeah, you, the back of the you, throat's burning. You thought the other ones were spicier. They are at the moment. No, nah, these ones are definitely spicier than the green. Mm. Mm. And now for a fact they're spicy because I'm actually feeling it. I bought some tissue, I'm getting a white mess. <laughs> Noodles for you. 
Not prepared again as usual. Well, it's kind of become our thing now, just not being prepared. Mm. I have a dental wipe. You know why? We should have merch. We're not prepared. We've got a lot of ideas for merch already. <sighs> it never gets rained to that point. One day. Right. That's where you save my day. Now I think, personally myself, I think that the spice is as actually hold on. Hold on. Let me pause that for a moment. It's building. Not so much at the back of my throat. More up front. All at the end of my tongue, bit of my tongue. And the lips. And when you talk, it, it, it's hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the spiciest. Ooh. Ooh. What's this going? What does it tell you it's going when you're not near Mark? It's not down, does it? I can't see it. If I remember correctly, the nuclear noodle, noodles are only like 9,000 scoble. Oh. So these are much less. But out of all, out of all six of them, these are the spi mm -hmm. spiciest. And it's rising. Oh! My lips are now. Yeah. Orange on my hands. My lips are now on fire. Even mine are a bit. Oh! It's not tolerable though. Yeah. Right. Flavour wise. I'm par with shin for me. Flavour wise. My uh, squid squid noodles come out number one for flavour. These uh. are number three for me. So, number two for me. Number two. Shit so, red just beats it. So, spicy boys, the black ones, the but I haven't got no treaties for the you guys, I'm sorry. Ball that number one. Uh, Shin red, red number two. Hot chicken flavoured ramen number three in the green packet. The, oh, it's the, the, de the demo was hotter for me than the green. Um, oh, me, I'm doing that first. Spice boys, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. Mark, yours. Hey, <laughs> you got some over there. The spice Second spiciest. There, on the chair. Third spiciest. Four. Fifth. Sixth. Um, for texture, I prefer the... Shin red. Hold on a minute. I'm just giving mine. For texture wise, for, for actual, I would prefer the, 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 the soupy flavoured noodles over the dry noodles. Except for texture. For overall. Oh, just eating experience. Eating experience, yeah. Yeah. I think the dry ones are a bit too dry. The chewier. Yeah. I don't well, like a chewy the noodle. all right. Oh, you give me a paw, thank you. Um, would you eat all of them again? <coughs> you wouldn't eat the squid one, would you? Well, I would. If it was some, if there was nothing else to eat. Yeah, but if I had to pick and choose, it'd be most of them. <laughs> Just not that uh, bloody oh, thank you. squid one. Okay, shall we um, call it a day? Uh huh. 
if you've, if you've got if you've got with us for this long thank you ever so much for watching all of this video it is quite a long one yeah, um, currently at 51 minutes <laughs> so sorry if you want to see any other taste test challenges cooking recipe now was that i was um offered a cup of cooking recipe yeah let no. us know yeah give, would, give us your ideas yeah we would love to cook something or anything you'd like to taste test i know that somebody's asked for a russian taste test so we'll try and see if we can get an mri Ah. All right, and thank you for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Ah.